Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So as some of you guys might know, we've been running our Twitch channel for a couple of weeks now and it has been just an insane amount of fun. But one of my favourite aspects about it is the fact how it's so community orientated. And this has been taken one step further and I want to thank Dr. Kill Patient, Angelus, Dubes and Carl, uh, Carl Bob for creating a Discord um, channel. And what Discord is, it's basically, it's a really, actually, this is the best way to describe it. It's basically a chat room on steroids, but it has so many other cool features. But I'm not gonna go too into depth about it because I would rather show you what it's all about. So let's go over to the computer. Okay, so if you take a look in the description of this video, you're going to see two links. The first link is gonna direct you to our Twitch channel, and the second link is going to direct you to the Discord channel. So if you click on the Discord link, it should take you to a site like this. And this is Discord. And the good thing about Discord is, is the fact that you don't actually have to install it if you don't want to. It can be completely browser based, which I actually really like. So you'll come to a, a screen like this and it will, it will ask you for what your username uh, should be. It will ask you... What should everyone call you? And for an example, I'm just going to call this TNT because that stands for thinking and tinkering. Make sure you do your capture. And once you've done this, it should take you on to the next screen. Okay, so what's happened right here is the fact how it's detected my account that's already on my computer. But the next screen should either just take you to a server or it'll ask you if you want to make an account. You can either do one or the other. But I'm going to pause it here and jump on the Discord server. Okay, so when you log on to this... <coughs> right, so when... Right, so when you log on to the Discord server, this is going to be the first page that you see. It's basically people saying hello to you. There's a nice bot set up. And it's basically telling you what the server's about. And if you scroll up, here are all the rules of the Discord. So definitely take a look through them. But there's a lot of stuff in here that's very interesting. So I just want to go through that with you guys. The first one is the general text channel. And this is just where anyone can come in and say hello or talk about something. This is just general stuff. <coughs> the next channel is events. And this usually tells you when we're either going live or when there's a video been uploaded. And it's set up really, really, really well. Such as this last video, the ADO A20 e-bike video that went up a couple days ago. This, as soon as it went up, it alerted the people in the Discord. This next section is called Ideas and Feedback. And this is also very cool because if you have any sort of idea um, and you want some feedback on it, this is the place to come in and do it. Um, there's going to be someone on here that will give you some nice feedback and obviously there's going to be criticism but it's all going to be very nice. Right, so if we go on to the next channel, we want to kind of skip this sell trade giveaway, um, self promotions. This is where you can actually promote your own YouTube channel if you want to. Project Share, which is probably my favourite one. This is where people come in and just talk about the projects that they're working on. That is a very, very cool thing to have set up. And last but not least, this is a, um, actually no, bot commands you can't access unless you're a moderator. So let's go on to the voice channels. Okay, so the next bit that I wanna talk about is the voice channels. And this first voice channel is just the lounge. So that means anyone can join on this channel. You can chat to anyone as long as you have a microphone. And it's just a nice place to lounge around, I guess. And I think that this one's been set up pretty well. Finally, there's a community hangout, which means um, depending on what's happening, people in the community, this is just another place to hang out and talk to people. And finally, here is the last one, and this is the streaming room, which I think is really cool. So when we're on, on stream, people can just join in and chat to each other. And last but not least, here are the final two chat rooms. There's staff and members and stream guests. Obviously for staff and members, only staff can join, um, and obviously members of the community. And finally, this is another locked channel, and this is stream guests. So say if we have anyone who wants to join us on the live stream, we'll drag you into this channel, which will give you, uh, sorry, 
we'll drag you into this channel, which means we'll be able to hear and see you, depending if you're on webcam as well. Which is really cool, because if we're doing one-to-one -one on stream, this is the perfect place to do it. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure I've just run through absolutely everything that this server has. But there's a lot more to offer, especially when you start digging more deep into it. And obviously, as the community starts to grow, it starts to become a better place for everyone. So I definitely felt like this Discord is worth a shout out just because it's so fun. And like I said at the earlier of the video, my absolute favourite thing about this, about this Discord is the fact how there's this tab right here called Project Share. As you can see, there's already people giving some useful information and there's already people sharing what kind of projects that they're doing. So I definitely felt like this was worth a shout out for sure. And now we know what we're doing on the Discord, let's go ahead back over to the camera and talk about it a little bit more. So that is just literally a very basic rundown of what the Discord's about, and I'm absolutely by no means a Discord guru. I mean, I use it occasionally, but now this is enticing me to use it a lot more often. So I can imagine that there's a few more things that you can actually do that I just don't know about. But coming back to that project share section, that is just plain awesome. I mean, anyone from the community can come in, share what they're working on, get feedback, or maybe even some ideas or suggestions that could actually help you finish whatever project you're working on. And I think that's a very, very important aspect of the Discord, and I, I think that's probably my favourite aspect at the same time. So I'll make sure the Discord link is the second link in the description, so if you click on that, it should invite you and take you straight over to the Discord. But with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. If you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.